All right, all right, all right. We are here. We are on the live layer on the server, just waiting on getting players loaded in, and then we will get started here with Operation Blue Scorpion. Uh, operations kind of changed up a little bit tonight. Uh, we were supposed to do Joker's Wild, but due to uh, some certain uh, certain issues, we were unable to uh, run that op tonight, but we will be running Blue Scorpion today. Um, pretty straight up. Or not really a straight up operation, but it's a pretty complicated operation tonight. Um, there's quite a few options for the U.S. side for uh, objectives and uh, intel, st stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and get started here. So I'll start off with the loadouts for the U.S. side here. I believe I got them all ready to go. Yes, I do. All right. Loadouts for the U.S. side, if they choose the green, yellow, or red routes, I believe this is a, that should be the one that's up on your screen right now. Yes, it is. They have differing, um, they have some differing, uh, based on what route they take, they have uh, additional UAVs, smoke barrages for, say, like the green, green route, uh, cat, which is a cash sweep. Yellow route is a river sweep. And then red is combat outpost where they'll where the U.S. will have to defend a cob inside inside of a certain area. Cash sweep. So the green route is cash sweep. Cash sweep. Uh, you have to sweep the certain locations and for any caches and basically take out any uh, insurgent fighters at the caches. Caches. It's pretty simple. Yellow is the river sweep, so the U.S. will be clearing out the uh, river. Uh, I believe there is a, I believe there is a uh, town that they have to sweep over, and clear out for any mines and stuff like that. Check all the buildings. Then red is a combat outpost where the platoon will move to set up a cob in one of the following grids, which is uh, K11, D D7, L6, and J7. Uh, tonight's map, I believe it's one of our new maps that we have. It's uh, Lekasar Valley. It's, one, it's on the new map. I'll go ahead and pull that up for you real quick. There we go. And here you can see kind of the, uh, the red, yellow, and green objectives. As you can see on the map, the yellow one, they have to clear out all those places in the middle of the map there. Uh, the red, they can choose one of the locations and... Uh, defend it and then the green is the cache sweep so they have to in that green area up there in the top of the map they have to find and clear out any caches that they find let's see next portion i believe is the red is the uh not the red ones the let me get it post up for you is the blue, purple, and orange, I believe is what it is. Blue, orange, and purple, yes. So, some more options. So, they got a total of six options today. Uh, blue is supply and aid patrol. Your platoon will move, you know, the platoon will move through several different civilian locations and check on the local population to bring much needed medical aid and food supplies. Um, so, there's different locations they got to go through there. And that is a route that they have to take. Um, orange is a clear, is a road, is a route clearance patrol. If I can speak correctly today, but the platoon, but but the uh, U.S. platoon needs to perform a route clearance patrol on roads to have that have had insurgent activity in the past, and the patrol must check uh, to make sure that no one is obviously there and, and engaging. Um, purple is another route is the uh, east uh, route clearance route. Uh, the orange one is the western one. Blue is the east. Uh, the platoon needs to perform a route clearance patrol on the east side of the map. And as far as the US side, that's pretty much all of the operations that they that it are possible today. I'll go ahead and we'll load up the map again and I'll just kind of let you guys take a look at it. But the blue or the uh, orange purple lines as well as I believe there should be a blue line on there as well. Those are the uh, route clearance slash patrol objectives. So it is quite complicated today for the op. Uh, as far as the insurgent side, insurgent side loadouts. Here they are, got you on screen. There's loadouts for the insurgent side, but the insurgent side, obviously they must, uh, uh, 
INS may start at varying locations, but it's limited to how many squads they have there. So they can only squat, uh, spawn in certain locations, and they can only spawn so many people there at once. Um, let's see. The I basically the INS will place uh, mines on the roads, uh, mines in various locations, and then they're basically uh, trying to find out what the U.S. is doing and eliminate them if at all possible. Uh, being INS, uh, there are quite a few specialty rules that are very, very long, very, <laughs> there's a lot of specialty rules for INS. Um, but that's their basic objective is to find and eliminate the U.S. forces by any means necessary. All right, let me just check on the server real quick. It looks like we do have, uh, looks like we do have players coming in. Players are in. I'm not sure if they have started yet or not. It's a classic Seattle weather. It's beautiful. What are you talking about? He hates and I will, I will go ahead and shut up right. and let you guys listen in. Quiet. So I gotta, go I on ahead. A couple minutes left. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to Operation Blue Scorpion. Uh, this was a last minute change from the insane Joker's Wild um, for many reasons. But our objective for this, uh, for this op is we are going to load up in two MRAPs. Two, two lodgy trucks and a trans truck, and we're going to be following this path of helmet marks up the hill, across the river, until finally setting up a fob here. All right, we're going to set up a fob in that fucking radio tower complex, defend it. We're going to have squads arrayed here, the IED mark, and this southern helmet mark, and then the fob itself. We'll probably shift and adjust as necessary. But that's going to be our defense plan. Um, basically, watch out. We're going to—it's a convoy. We're going to be convoying for the most part. So watch out for mines. Watch out for IEDs, AP mines, AT mines, IEDs, drones. Watch out for any of it, any and all of it. Um, any questions? So two IC will be oddball, and chain of command will essentially just go one, two, three, four. After that, it's basically just whoever nuts up and does it, takes charge. Whatever happens, your objective is to get to the cop and defend the cop, which is the radio tower with the fob mark. So at the end, don't don't be fucking waiting around, waiting for an admin to tell you what to do. Show initiative and move to the fucking cop and defend the cop. All right. All right, let's fucking get loaded. All right, so... So Dwarf uh, has chosen the red uh, option for the United MRAP, States side MRAP, where they have AP, to go and defend the cop. Slide V, put your guys up in a lodgy. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull up the operation real quick and I'll tell you what that all entails. So red option is the combat outpost. So the platoon must move to and set up a cob at one of the following grids. So the following grids are K1194, D7-2, L642, and L752. <sighs> That's a lot. So, I believe they are K K1194, which is right here. D7-2 is one of the also possible D7-1-2, which would be right in here somewhere. I believe it's right here. Yep, right there. This uh, nice little village right here. Uh, another location is the L L six four two, which I I believe L six four two, which is way up here. L six four two, which is right. L six four two, which is right here on this hilltop there. And then the J seven. Convoy organized. Who's first? Who's second? J seven, which is uh, right Andrew's up in here first, somewhere. Followed by all the other vehicles. I believe they Let's decided go. to go here to the radio tower, the K-11, which is the old Russian outpost. And we are live. So we'll go ahead and we'll follow Dwarf in. Okay, prepare. We probably could get contact in that first village. Yep. Expect contact anytime, gentlemen. So they could have possible Let's contact here in this village. Let's have, have good spacing. 
And as you can see, they do have one squad up here in this uh, northern village, and it looks like they are heading Copy. pretty Copy. much east. Roll, roll to the bridge. Take a look at uh, look at all that. So I believe this is Rose if Dragon you start squad. Contact, find yourself best cover and then dismount. Copy. No rushing through then. Village is here. Things you have to watch out for on the bridges, you gotta watch out for those mines. <laughs> One of the British rules for the bridge. US side is that if I they see a mine, they have to get rid of it in some way. That's one of the rules, so they cannot you know, cannot deviate from those rules. Uh, let's see. Crazy 25, you're asking about like a post scriptum op? We do run those on, on occasion, so we we actually do have those ourselves. It's just not a uh, very popular um, operation for us, so that's why we only run them maybe once or twice a month. But uh, keep keep an eye out on the. Uh, they could be at the radio tower already. Just keep an eye out on the on the uh, what's it called? Copy five. The website, squad up says GG. Just keep an eye on the website. Uh, yep. Usually the postscriptums are actually available to the public. Um, obviously we prefer you to have our basic course done and uh, gone through that, but uh, yeah, most of our postscriptum stuff is available to the public. So it looks like Dwarf here is going to Get to the post location without any contact. Take a look here. Squad one is up here in the hills. They need to do some. Need to run a little quicker. Get play some catch up here. Ooh, they might have been. No, they wouldn't be able to see him from that road. But they definitely cannot hear him. So it looks like they're moving over just to do a nice All little right, patrol uh, here. My squad will break off uh, to the north side here and get in position. And it we'll looks like Dwarf the, is going to uh, get into posi position position unimpeded. Which is going to give them enough time to get the uh, defenses set up and wait for a insurgent assault. It looks like squad one on the insurgent side is the only squad around. Looks like we do have acid inside of a, uh, inside of what looks like to be a Dishka technical probably. And we got two Logi trucks heading over this direction. Unknown where the rest of the, uh, rest of the squads are at, at the moment. But yeah, Dwarf has gotten to location, and they are they will now start setting up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, they'll start setting up uh, their defenses and start running logistics. I Squad believe they can run a couple of logistics. But yeah. All right. Let's go take a look and see what the INS is doing. See if I can't find the rest of the squads here. It looks like Squad One is going to be the only one that's going to be able to get in contact here. Take a look, see if so they can guys, see them. Uh, was it northeast? Yeah, it's happening. Copy. Because they, I believe it's, they uh, should be able to see him from this hill. You guys need to branch out a little further. Go ahead. Like another hundred. Very, very well, possible they could have been not spotted. Just have a fire team to the northeast and one to the east. But it doesn't look like they are. Copy. Yeah, it wasn't just for from you, their. But uh, spots, they need to branch out further. Say from the way they're acting, it doesn't look like they have actually spotted them. Looks like they're looking towards the road. Yes, this is a one life event. Yes, it is. Yeah, go ahead, build stuff. Uh, we get a mortar and HMG. Um, uh, I don't think we really need an HMG. I don't really give a. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think they see them up there on the uh, post. No one's really down. looking at it. Oh, Greenpeace might be here. Looks like he may have spotted them. Uh, 
I believe he has. So hopefully he does spot him. They'd be passing that up to Commander, to the uh, cell leader, if you do say so. And we will run over and see if we can't find any of the other squads. This is two. We have an, uh, we have an amazing position up here. Same here, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. That's what I was hoping. Are we allowed to build, or do we just wait? So we got squad uh, two over here. Uh, William squad over here in the far eastern in the spawn point. Area. We have engineers, so we use those. Oh yeah, you can use those. Take a look, see what they're doing. It looks like they may be loading up and getting ready to move out. Yeah, it looks like they're heading back up to go get some more supplies. And as you can see, their commander is over here, Silas, as well as the rest of squad too. Four, make sure you have guys looking west. Same with you too. I'm looking west of the map. Yeah. And may they may start. They should start pushing. They should start pushing east here if uh, Squad One has uh, detected the U.S. here. Got a nice viewpoint. Yeah. Well, this is what the stream is all about here. Rules of engagement. Anything specific? Nope. Just fucking free to engage. Let's see what Squad 1's doing over here. Does Squad Ops have regular squad server? Yes, we do. We do have our public servers. Um, we have a... Let's see, we have a hardcore mod server, which uses our hardcore mod. Uh, that adds certain gameplay elements to uh, to just vanilla squad. And I believe we also have a vanilla squad up, squad server up. But uh, the, vanilla, the vanilla squad server doesn't really get populated all that much. A lot of people like to play on our hardcore mod, mod server. You can check those out. Uh, just they're in the server browser. You just uh, type in uh, squadops.gg and it should pull them both up. Uh, make sure you have show modded servers ticked, as well as show empty servers as well on your filters, and you should see them. And it looks like they do indeed note it. Know that the U.S. is up here at the old Russian outpost. So. We'll have uh, INS squads here moving in here pretty quick. Let's see what they're doing. Ooh, looks like they have a. They're gonna have a. They got a drone going up here, and looks like that's what the commander's gonna be doing. They're gonna be throwing a drone up and taking a look, seeing where they're at. I'm not sure where the rest of the squads are at. See, I see this vehicle over here abandoned, so let's go take a look over here. Yes, we got a squad over here to the north of Dwarf currently. Mortar is, mortar is up and ready to accept fire mission. Mortar is Copy. been built and ready to go. Repeat last. So we got, looks like just Mortar. a fire team That's over here uh, with Dix Falk and the fire team. It's like he only decided to take a fire team? That's kind of weird. I've got Paper. contacts, Juliet 1024. Juliet 1024? 12 oh, they have. 1024. I better Two get over there. They have left. spotted them. Wrong copy. I better get over there. They spotted them. I'm going to see if we got some mortars going here. Looks like they're taking pop shots at them. Uh, Juliet 1024 is not very accurate. They're about 100 meters off on that call out. Juliet 1024 is like this hill right here. Let's take a look here. But this squad has been spotted. It doesn't seem like they uh, are aware that they have been spotted.
going to be a pretty, uh, it's going to be a little slower op today, guys, as the INS kind of had to figure out where exactly the U.S. was going. But they have been spotted. Looks like we got supply drops coming in. Any uh, new marked contact? Oh, this is only one live. Oh, yeah, I thought this was gonna be like. Nah, yo, yo, yo. There we go. We got the supply drop in. Nice little reinforcing supply drop. Do we have any other guys? Negative. Yep, sorry guys, this is a little slower of an op, a little slower start. Really big map, lots of options. Ooh, squad three. As you can see, INS is now starting to come on in and uh, start Remember, to surround we this do position. Have a cast airstrike or gun runner, whatever and the fuck. Squad so three, looks like they went all the way in, me... all the way around the US main where US Copy, started. Do you want to bit for when they close or do you want to do it on the long range? I believe this any, is Rosa's squad. Any clumps of infantry you see. Copy. Red smoke south about 500 meters. That is approximately Lima 11-1. Looks like they're going to be uh, pushing a little bit north here and uh, probably link up with Squad one. 1. Understood. Is that marking contact? Or? Let's take a look here. See where they're calling out red smoke. Here's a drone, Silas's drone. Let's go take a look at him real quick. This is, this is two. We might have had a GL smoke marker to our south. We're, I'm checking it right now. That yes, would have been probably what I saw to your southeast. It's a southeast. GL smoke marker. Four has very long sight lines to the north side. No movement so far. I'm not seeing where they got the smoke marker from. So our last known contact is to the west and to the south, is that correct? To the east and to the south. East and the south, Roger. I yep. had contacts to the direct So we're doing pretty good, looks like squad south. one has pulled back away from, so that way they don't get uh, spotted anymore, probably just looking to regroup with squad three here. Squad four, it looks like they're coming all the way down behind them. Nice little long walk for uh, INS as they uh, start to move into position here. Where are they at? They should be back here. Yep, there they are. So Squad 4 is back over here. Be nice if they can, you know, kind of get over to this next ridge line and they can just walk right on in with this ridge line. Got nice three. Got some nice 360 security going for uh, US side. Very advantageous very position for US as and they got MRAP. just gamble, so we'll see what you're talking ready about. To fire up on so anything that moves. I'm sitting on a most dangerous spot. Of... Although it is kind of exposed, though. IED drones. I am not aware. Not sure if they are How open is all allowed west? or not. It looks like we might have a I have to look at the operation document. Take a look. It, it, is, it is not okay. Open. Very good sight lines west side. INS may not arm drones with IEDs, so no. That is a negative on the uh, IEDs it's on drones. The only is the road itself. They could perhaps use the road. But any other location is... Alright, looks like squad 1 and 3 are kind of linked together and they're getting... Now they're just waiting for the rest of the squads on the INS side to uh, get into position so they can start their assault. A lot of a lot of waiting on this op. Just to let you guys know that this op will be played again as season uh, as uh, session two time, which will start here at seven thirty. Is roll call time for session two time, so we may possibly be seeing this op contact again west, as. Uh, ooh, west Copy northwest. Contact west northwest. Four. That's going to be west of you. West northwest. Copy. I don't Trinity. see any contact over there. Let's Hello. take a look here. Too. I'd be looking uh, west and north now. Let's take a look here. Oddball is the one that called it out. Distance, Oddball. 
Where's Eyeball? Potential missed call, wait one. Confirming. <laughs> yeah, it's a missed call. There's 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 nobody to the west, southwest here. Or northwest. You're probably looking at north or you're probably looking at southwest there, oddball. Yeah, that's a missed call at the moment, but we're gonna keep an eye on it. Yeah, all right. train on that western quadrant, I see nothing. It's the wind, it's causing so much tree movement. Hey, they're blaming it on the wind. <laughs> So squads one and three over here for the INS side, they have uh, linked together, and it looks like they're going to do kind of just a, a nice little try to sneak up on them. Here's the thing, though. U.S. does not, as far as I know, do not know that they are here. So this is, could be a very, very big surprise, especially if they kind of come along this hill and, and get up on them from behind here. Squad four over here to the east as well. It would be a great time for them to attack together as one unit. But squad four, they appear to be about a click out from where the location is at. Pretty decent defense here. Nice little outpost so they can defend here. But it looks like we're gonna be I'm getting into contact here defense. pretty quick. General. We'll get into contact here pretty quick. Looks like three and one probably be the first ones in the contact. Not sure where squad two is at. They're probably with the commander right here. There they are. So it looks like they're running logistics. They might be, uh, I'm not sure what they can do with the logistics. Just take a look, quick little look here. I do have a UAV. I can start popping up here soon. How much is going on? It seems like they, um, seems like they might be infiltrating rather than Overtly. Ah, so they have to run logistics in order to get, yeah, uh, like, uh, commander support options. So, uh, at 1,000 ammo, they get a drone. At 2,000 ammo, they get an HMG uh, for FOB, for an INS FOB, which is going to be kind of useless. At 3,000 ammo, they get another drone. At 4,000 ammo, they get uh, a mortar to be placed at the INS FOB location. And at 5,000 ammo, they get a heavy mortar barrage from the uh, commander list. So that's what the logistics are for. Here. I think this well, moment, we just need to know if there's any routes they could take where we haven't got eyes. The only route I can think of is along the river to our west side and maybe some a few hundred meters down the road on the west side. The east is very, very, with a lot of ammo flash, they can sneak up on us real quick. I'm trying to cover this as best as I All can. All right, just give me a recommendation. Where should I put a UAV east up at? East, east. side. I think it's the most dangerous area. Looks like uh, Lima, U.S. Command Lima wants to put up a UAV to take a look to see where they're if at. I had to call it, yeah, Lima or Mike. Let's see where if they can pick them up Is here. Is the drone like default, like vanilla? Because if you can put it to like 500 meters, it's probably best to just do that. And... That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look, see where, see where he places it. If he were to place it here in the southwest, he'd probably see both these squads. So squad four is like right out, right up out here, and they're not going to see nothing with that. I hope that's good enough. They are not anywhere near that, as far as I know. It's more likely they're going to head up the uh, north northwest. Oh, squad three is moving in. Repeat last command. But squad four it looks like they're going to walk kind of right into it, but it might be might be north dissipated north before anything. It's good ground if they really if they get good. Coming. If they have good timing here, they when squad three attacks, they'll get, get everyone distracted, spot. and then squad four will come in behind them and decimate their rear defense. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Looks like Rosa here is getting her squad in there real deep, and I and U.S. is not aware of their presence at this moment, and they are well, they're within 200 meters of each other. This might be, oh, this might be very, very bad. Oh, oh no. I don't, right here is the hole. That's a hole right there. I don't believe anyone's watching this hole here. Viper is looking this direction, but I'm not sure if he's looking, like, really close to him. He might be looking, you know, a little far off. Need a sandbag? Let's see here. 
hard to tell exactly where he's looking, but it doesn't look like he's looking directly below him. Look at this. Man, this thing moves way too quick. Right underneath his, right underneath his nose. If you don't see anything to the east, that sort of eliminates that. This is very bad for the U.S. side. They don't have anyone watching this hole over here. Looks like they got, looks like they got a couple people moving in, or U.S. is starting to spread back out again. But he's not looking, he's not looking towards his west here. Squad leader Rosa is heading up. Ooh, this is bad. You might have heard him. Look at this. Look at this, guys. They're within 50 meters of each other. Let's see if Darth will see him here. He should be able, if he looks straight down, he can see him. Oh, no. <laughs> Anything to report from our east command? Oh no. no, Darth, Darth, you didn't check close, dude. Looks like, uh, oh, Squad 3, oh, wait, I know what they're doing. Squad 3 is in position, they are now just waiting for the rest of the platoon to get into, uh, <laughs> they're just waiting for the rest of the platoon here to get into position, and then they have a nice little surprise attack real close. Very, very well done on the INS side to get a... I think squad so is this close without being detected. Apologies, gentlemen. As you can see, they're yeah, all in bushes right now. They're all hiding, and they're so close He's right now they probably won't get spotted caution. because they're not because the U.S. will not be looking close up. They'll be looking away, far away, trying to detect people on like opposite ridge lines and stuff. This is a very, very good positioning. Good job on the INS of getting these uh, these guys real close. But now they have to be careful because if they get yep. spotted, it's it's all over with. Tactical banana. He's real close. He's got his binos out, so he's probably he's probably looking all up along there. It's mostly that uh, it kind of fucks them over because I'm sure they. I guarantee. I, I about guarantee you, Rosa is freaking out right now. She probably sees him too. They're yeah, probably yeah, being quiet. Let's take a look here. Oh, Rosa's not even looking in the right direction. Never mind. I'm not seeing anything out east though, so I uh. I don't know. It's gonna be pretty hard to see her at this point. Maybe they don't know where we went. They're still oh, oh, that out. oh, 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 come on, dude. I seriously, I, I hope this plan yeah, works out for the INS because right? this is this is gold right now. The, the... Let's take a look here to see where four is at. They got that UAV up, but uh, oh four is God, not inside that? of it. Dwarf might have just spotted him. Oh, fuck, dude. I got out of UAV and I heard every fucking person talk all at once. Oh, he got the he got the audio bug. <laughs> yeah, that's a common bug. That's the audio bug. If you uh, you kind of heard it at the beginning of the stream, but I just put down an ammo box command. Uh, do we, Tactical do we eater, a major uphill yeah. fight. Yeah, this is a very sure. uphilly fight. But as you can see here, they got INS has a squad that's real close. I believe the INS's plan is to kind of fake an attack somewhere else. And have Squad Three just kind of infiltrate right into here. Darth and Tactical Banana are not looking close enough to actually detect them, so they have been under the radar this entire time. So the U.S. does not know that they are there, and Squad One over here for the INS also is remained undetected as they moved in it looks like they are just kind of lying in wait they're just kind of waiting for the rest of the platoon here to get into position squad four still needs to get in position here and the i believe the uav has has expired for the u.s side so they're probably not going to see them ballsy and i'd only ask for volunteers but we could send out a patrol to make things interesting uh-oh um. Yeah, they have to come for us, send... I think. Well, they do, but if uh, Oddball, if you want to send out a buddy team to, my trailer is like pretty Juliet well placed 10. to do that. Juliet uh, 10. Oh, they're sending them the completely the wrong direction. Buddy team up Juliet 10. 
he wants to go send a buddy team of Julie Ten. So Same right up here, he's not gonna he's not gonna see anybody. North. This is like one of the best games of D and D I've ever seen. I mean, two could. INS side has rolled a critical twenty or a nat nat twenty nah, dude, on their stealth boy. here. I want, I want eighth or oddball to be able to get his guys and was able to sneak up real close. Squad four looks like they need to keep moving in. INS needs to kind of pick this up a little bit. Starting to scan the distant hills because God, they might be staring at us. <laughs> Falkram, you don't know how you don't know how true they, that is when they're staring at you, but they're not staring at you from uh, far enough away. They're actually within a hundred meters of your of your location. So that's this is very bad. And they're sending out patrols over here, so they want to send patrols out to All this right. area. But you see, moving out west okay. to take a look, and they're not going to see them. They are sent on completely their own direction. The uh, the last known position of Squad One was uh, of the opposite team was actually, I believe it was this hill right here, Juliet Ten something. So I mean, they are sending them out to the last known location, but they have already moved off, and they're now down south of here. They're just lying in wait, waiting for uh, waiting for the rest of their platoon here. As we uh, wait for the INS here to get in position to start their assault, has anyone got any questions for me about uh, squad ops or our operations or anything like that? You can speak now, forever hold your peace. Let's see where the uh, commander is at. Oh, they're still. Looks like they're gonna. Looks like the commander is gonna set up here at this fob location. Or no, he's set up right here. Here he is. So it looks like Silas has set up a, uh, or wants to set up a uh, location right here to possibly get mortars on. I get am mortars online absolutely here. Absolutely confident. They're all to our west somewhere, and they're trying to just gather forces. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. The entire river valley is a good staging area behind the ridge line. Dwarf's gut instinct is that they're to the west. That is very accurate as of uh, ten minutes ago, but. Uh, they are now to the uh, south. I might be able to set an OP. The southwest and towards the southeast here. So they are. You got to do it. Go ahead. This is not good for the U.S. They have two squads well within 100 meters of each other. Just ready to pounce when uh, when they get up here. If I'm if I was to guess, it seems like Silas is waiting for. Um, Waiting for the logistics trucks to get a mortar and a heavy mortar barrage, and they're probably going to barrage it, and then probably hit it with a uh, with a bunch of mortars, and then they'll probably launch everybody. Then they'll probably get everybody in. But uh, Rosa here is in a very advantageous uh, position here. To as soon as those mortars are done firing, that she can just run right in there and take take them out. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the uh, slow op, guys. This is just one of those ops that uh, a lot of movement, a lot of uh, a lot of planning, a lot of uh, timing has to go into it. So squad four nice to the fog all the way to India nine. The both sides of the compounds, and there's nothing going on there. So squad four here it looks like they're just kind of moving creepily, moving in. They got to be careful because they can be spotted by uh, squad three here if they. Uh, Skyline themselves too much, or if they move too too fast. All right, let's just check on something real quick. Let's see. What is All right, command the forward element is set on the west side. Looks like they got their second drone up. So it looks like Silas is going to...
look to see if anyone has moved off of the point. Looks like the rest of the uh, rest of squad two here has been uh, put in place, and they're gonna walk right. It looks like they're gonna. Looks like squad two wants to set up here, probably right in right in this area where the drone's at. Looks like uh, Silas may have spotted this buddy team here. So that red smoke that was to our south, that wasn't a friendly GL. That was definitely enemy. I mean, we believe so. My guys did not know about it. Sidebe, were they yours? Was that your guys in smoke? East, 200 meters. Lima, 10 to 5 We are engaging. Oh, squad 4 has been, has been spotted and engaged. Damn it, I should have got into the fucking UAV in the last minute or two. So squad four is now being engaged. They've been spotted. It's not good for him. Well, it might be good for him because now they can. Uh, close, everyone. Looks like squad yeah, one and two, one and three here are not gonna. Looks like they're not gonna move. Looks like they're right. Oh, they got a heavy barrage coming in. Heavy barrage coming in. Looks like he's going right on top of these radio towers. Let's take a look at that. Oh, look at this. This this is gonna be fun. So as soon I expect as soon as this barrage is over that um that um squad three and one here are gonna move right on in. Oh look at all the people. Oh no. I oh, guess fuck. This is two, we've got contact close. Yep, squad squad one has opened up on them. Oh booby trap and is that boogie? Dwarf, dwarf goes down, uh, uh, Commander goes down to the barrage, to the heavy mortar barrage, as well as Fallen Apollo. Copy on uh, we're trying to close the gap. Oh, Viper and Fulcrum get taken out by the heavy barrage. This barrage was very effective in taking out not only Command, but also, like, a squad. Good job, and ooh, squad. Oh no, uh, Russell squad started moving up. They got spotted out by Dwa by uh, Darth and Tactical Banana. Banana. Tactical Banana goes down, down, down to Spanish Inquisition. This is not good. Spanish Inquisition. Oh, Darth takes out Spanish Inquisition. Command, this is Lawn Dart Squad 3, New Leaf. We are 6 effective. We have contact to our east in Lima 10 2. Contact Everything has kind of exploded all at once with that uh, okay. heavy mortar barrage. Bring back your southeast three. Bring back your southeast. Try and prevent them on the northeast. Two, if you can bring, pull back to pull back, please. It's like Darth got hit by a grenade. This ain't very good. They're getting lit up by the opposite hill line here. As you heard Eyeball, he's going to start pulling in all of his troops to get into uh, tight end defense. Squad 2 here is going to move in uh, for INS side. Squad 2 is going to move in from the west. They are now being, uh, right now the U.S. is being distracted by from the uh, south as well as the uh, east. So Squad 2 on the INS side get, hurries up. They could get in here and, and just hammer an anvil. They do. Thin Bones like and who's this? Contact Phoenix. Thin Bones and Phoenix are coming up behind Squad One. Known position, southwest yep. Their last yeah, known position here. And these mortars are non-effective. Mortars need to be a little bit more to the north. But Squad One here is moving in on pretty much unimpeded. Garrett here is about to get caught right, out by a uh, Revy squad, or not Revy squad, Rosa squad. You and the Fog to reinforce Plug the gap. So the uh, the complete the, the complete southwest side of the defense completely collapsed when that uh, heavy mortar barrage came in. Oh, it's like those mortars are landing pretty good, maybe. Uh, no, they're not. Still landing. Still landing to the south. Headbuster must have got hit by uh, 
by an AR or something. But look at here, Revy and, Revy and Garrett are within 50 meters of each other here. It's like Squad 4 over here, uh, not an not a NSA spy. Or NSA spy, I'll just call him NSA spy for now. Looks like his squad, about half of his squad is left. At the moment, if the fob don't push further than 50, please. Copy, other. Looks like the uh, western, the eastern push here got uh, kind of got destroyed here, but looks like they're they're still getting pretty close though. U.S. might be distracted by uh, by other fights going on around them. No idea where that was supposed to go. There was no one around that that rocket shot. Ooh, now they're starting to get some effective mortars on target. Forcing this squad here to disperse. Copy, I have a fire team dip. The rest of the fire team with the MRAP is moving north of Rose Dragon is doing a very good job of getting his squad in here. Got a nice little semi circle here. Smoke's coming out from the eye on that side. Doing pretty good here on the south side, getting uh, getting smokes out and getting pushed in. Just gotta be careful though, because they got a couple people well within grenade range here. Purple smoke. And they're pushing in, they're pushing in hard. Understood three, put in mortars down northeast of you. Squad four went down. Hold still three. Pull this back squad over here is getting decimated by Darth. He's got him kind of pincered here. Squad four to command. Uh, NSA spy and lingo trade. Bartok is probably is on one screen. of the last guys here. Oh, he dead. He died too. And that goes. And that's it for the eastern defense, as far as the eastern assault. Two squad one, we have enemies entering the comp. Southern southern assault. Did pretty good in we'll getting on. into the compound, but it looks like they lost most of their guys on the push. I'm reloading the 249. They're inside the no. compound now, Charlie. What? How you doing? Russ is the only one inside the compound. Oh, Russ, the rest of her squad what? needs to push in. Oh, no. Oh, they were right next to each other. No way, Kamanji was right next to uh, Killer25 here. Now he has to watch out for Garrett, and Garrett got him. Garrett spotted him. Uh, Hajar here is going to probably try to take out Garrett. Looks like Rosa is going to wait for the rest of the squads to push in here. Looking pretty good, but they're going to have to uh, do some little CQC here too in order to take the compound fully. Silent over here being his uh, sneaky, sneaky self. Look at this. Pretty close. Other squads, are you guys taking contact elsewhere besides the west? Let's see, Garrett's still alive, Thin Bones, and what's his like and uh, right Phoenix came in behind Headbuster, liberal yeah, here. They're starting to clean up the stragglers that didn't get close to the compound. Liberal Pundit goes down. It's now just silent over here in the south. Let's see, is Rosa still alive over here? Looks like Rosa went down. Oh, nope, she's still alive. She's on the other side of the building. This is my home and I shall defend it. <laughs> so silent out here in the middle of everything. Just waiting on uh, someone to come in the line of sight of him. I see a mercenary here on the wall. And Shani here is not paying attention. Again. Looks like he goes down to Garrett. Meanwhile, elsewhere, it looks like this squad looks like a Wandart squad that 
Blondarts took over from. Looks like they got kind of a, an engaged from the uh, northwest here and then got a, got eliminated as well. Only a few people left in his squad. Let's see, Silent and Schnee here. Silent inside of a bush, I mean, being his I little can, I inside our compound. Being that silent second. AR. That means they enter through the ladders on the north. Copy that. Garrett, push north, push north. It's like silent opened up on the building. Probably trying to draw attention to himself to get people in here. It looks like we got a couple couple of stragglers coming in from behind as well. Probably from uh, Squad Two. Let's see who these guys are. Ah, uh, he's with Command. So we got Command. We got the Commander and Fizzo over here, pushing in, catching up. And here comes the MRAP. It's like he's stuck on a hill here. That'd be cool. I've returned with the MRAP. Uh, we think most of them are done. Yo, Shmi. Yo, Where are the bad guys? Garrett trying to get information. And there goes Silent. He uh, opened up, probably just trying to distract and, uh, yeah. You good? Soldier Wolfie goes down over here, probably to the MRAP. Looks like the Amrap got hit by a lat shot here. Has there been a graphics upgrade? The scenery looks different. Uh, this is just a new map. Um, so it's a new map. This uh, Also, there has been a few uh, optimization passes as well. Uh, I'm also... I also have a pretty decent computer that could help as well. But the so INS here, the in the INS here needs to uh, clean out this building in order to uh, capture the point. Likely northwest. That's where a lot of fire came from. But Phoenix and Thinbone here. Oh, they're coming in behind them. They're not. They don't have good 360 security, and they're not watching behind them as people, as uh, stragglers from the U.S. that went out and did a little small little patrol. They, uh, you know, they came in and came in behind them, and they're just not looking behind them. Silas and the Fizzo opening them up, open up on the building here. Looks like Phoenix and Thimbones here are gonna try to find that contact and eliminate them. Would you like the MRAP? Phoenix and Thimbones are doing a very good job here, uh, kind of cleaning up all the uh, stragglers on the outside. Uh, let's see. Uh, whose squad is this? Looks like they may be squadless. Squad leaderless, I mean. Uh, Jackson here is the squad leader, so. This guy here, he needs to get his guys moving and get onto the point. Reinforce his uh, friendlies inside the point. Rosa went down sometime in that, in the fray here. <laughs> Oh, Scotch Cap goes down with the ship here. Dies to the MRAP. Silas and Fizzle here needs to be careful. They got uh, guys coming up to them from their north. From their north here. Let's see if Fizzle notices them. He's looking towards the compound and not looking around him. He needs to be careful here. Keep his ears about him so that way he can listen in. But for just to let you know, up there is clear. Need ammo, grab it. We got a large supply. I just got like dogs. Oh, that was a very close shot. Didn't get anyone though. That was a very well placed shot by uh, by Darth, I believe. Things is kind of starting to slow down here. We're going to come over here and watch Phoenix and, and uh, Thinbones here clean up. 
Looks like Fizzo went to go with Silas. Need to be careful about their backside, though. Does it go down? No way. I think Fizzle got uh, one tap by somebody. Or he died over here. I'm not quite sure. Wasn't wasn't paying attention. So Jack here needs to get his guys moving onto the point. They're just kind of sitting up there waiting. Looks like Silas moved down into a bush trying to get away from whoever uh, whoever's chasing him. Doesn't, he's not aware that anyone's behind him. The inside this comp. Looks like Corgi died. Gromp is getting ready to look inside here. No, he's just kind of covering up. Trying to get inside. Being attacked from hey, yeah, everybody pull back. Darth up here. U.S. side looks like their command, their commanding uh, elements have completely broken down. So there no, there is no, uh, no communication on their end. About what's going on. Gromp here is going to get uh, spotted through this uh, little break in the wall. Oh, Shini wasn't looking inside. Now he's yes. going to look inside. Inside my compound. Probably Come on, Grump. Oh, you see him, Grump. You see him. Oh, Schneeves very, very close to dying there. Shooting underneath the truck, trying to get him. Looks like they might trade here. Grump needs to bandage up. And they traded. Schnee and Grump traded with each other. Uh, Jackson here needs to, really needs to get his Guys moving. They would have pushed in a little sooner. They could have. Uh, Phoenix goes down to Silas, probably. It's like Silas died off to somebody else. So that's a uh, command for the uh, INS side. Completely dead. And no one inside of the compound except. Oh, this Greenpeace is here. Looks like he's inside the compound? Greenpeace is inside the compound. All he has to do now is wait for reinforcements to um, clean to clear it out. All they have left is salty Potter Potter in here, and he's looking down a he's in the very advantageous position. He's looking down a very long hallway. Very good for close quarters combat. Jackson squad here looks like they're starting to move in. Maybe. Let's see, let's take a look at the kills here. Twenty-seven for the INS and twenty-eight for the US. So very, very close match here. As looks like uh, they finally get people moving in here. This is where communication is key. Of course, I'm not on their side, so I can't, you know, listen to their communication. But Salty Potter is the last one inside the compound here. Everyone else is outside the compound. Ooh, it's like uh, I don't know how Regan. Regan got spotted by Thin Bones, and Thin Bones started shooting through the windows. Good. Can you hear? Yo. What's going on? There's two people on the second hey. floor of this belt. Two people yeah, on the second floor, that's three. that's a good call out. Yep, too bad. Do you know which windows they're in? I have rockets. Yeah. I don't know, you, got, you guys should just hold. Uh, Phoenix, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot by. Okay. Yeah. U.S. is now trying to, trying to get in and yeah, get yeah, the defense can going. Up, you can kind of see up in the windows. So, 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 I think the rest of the uh, squad, there, there he is. Ooh, we got very lucky he didn't get uh, spotted by Thin Bones over here. Ground floor, ground floor. 
It's like we got the rest of the squad here. They're now in uh, close quarters combat. Got to watch out for those windows, though. There might be a lat rocket so coming your way. Left or right of it? Right at the tarp, right at the tarp, but I, he's right. probably in that room. Oh, Jackson goes down to the to the lat shot. Very good shot on uh, Garrett's side. He said you got one. Okay. Here, I'll go. Let's try to find the other one. So INS objective is to find the radio and dig it down. Which I believe is in this room right here, so... Once they start digging it down though, they can get attacked by uh, by everyone else. Or through the windows. They now know they're on the radio, so now they're gonna... You need to be careful, South Park's coming in! Oh, and they traded. Good try on Salty Potter to try to get the, the room cleared out. Just the uh, the aim just wasn't there. Looks like he took another shot in the top. I don't think he killed anyone. Radio's going down. Thin Bones is a little... We got Garrett and Thimbones left. Is he left. upstairs? Where is he shooting from? They're the only two left on the uh, on the U.S. side. Still 28 kills for the insurgent forces, 30 kills for uh, for the U.S. So, oh, Thimbones got got tagged. He's gonna have to bandage. Green Pea is a really good spot to uh, see him if he moves. Oh, Thin Bones, you're cheating. That's a cheater. What a cheater. Let's see, I didn't see what happened here. It looks like, uh, looks like somebody came in. Yep. One person, another person died on the U.S. side, so I believe that's just that just leaves Thin Bones, last man alive. And Thimbo's goes down through the doorway. Right through that doorway. Little little is cracked. Good job on the INS side. Very well laid out plan. Uh, good try on the US side. They had a very good defense starting out, but uh, unfortunately the, the INS just got in too close, too quick or once the attack started they weren't quite spread out enough. When the uh, big barrage came in, they weren't quite spread out enough and the uh, I'm pretty sure they lost about a squad to that to that barrage. The players own the vaunted ops members. All right. You died in like five seconds. All right, guys. Round two will be starting here real quickly. I'm going to. We're going to take a small little break. I'm going to go grab me something to drink because I am parched right now. And uh, we'll be back here with round two here in a few minutes. Okay. I for you guys that aren't SLs, can you see my FI marks yeah, on the map? Yeah, I got blew up by a GL. If I put them? No. No. Yes. No. Okay. I see the three mark. Okay. No, that's why. Uh, Two, not four, the five. five mark, though. Okay. All right. We won't worry about that. Uh, yeah, one's basically marking the route. So what we're going to do is Rosa and Rose Dragon are each going to have an MRAP, and then they're going to be sharing a transport truck, and then William and Noten are going to be sharing, sharing a transport truck. We're going to convoy up the south road there on the east, marked by one's marker. And we're going to dismount at the reinforcement mark there at Lima 8-1. At which point we will proceed on foot, except the MRAPs. Um, and we will proceed northwest to Juliet 7-4 uh, at the helmet mark. And the MG mark at Juliet 8-4. Uh, Rosa will take the north mark at Juliet 6. And Rose Dragon will take Juliet 7. Uh, from there, William and Noten squads are going to push westward to try to secure the valley, if someone can mark those roughly for me, one of the SLs. Uh, basically, there's uh, the, the central compound at Golf 6, Hotel 6, Golf 7, Hotel 7. And there we have to clear that area of enemy weapons caches and secure that valley. So to do that, we're going to have Noten pushing along the south side along the three marks. Or, yeah, and then uh, William Squad Squad 2 will be pushing just north of him on the north side of that bridge. 
uh, subject to change and secure the north side of the village. Uh, and then if need be, the squads on the east side will pull off that hill and come down to support. But we'll hopefully have the MRAP up there supporting you. Uh, we don't have a whole lot in fire support assets this time, so it'll be a little dicey. Does anyone have any questions? Alright, just to reiterate real quick, the objective is the weapons caches. Do not dig down enemy radios, leave those there. Just take down the weapons caches, which are ammo crates. And just secure that area, that's all we gotta do. All right, they have other questions. three SL, crates so they need to get out, rid get of. Get mounted up in vehicles facing south and ready for live. All right, and that was the platoon brief for the U.S. side. We're going to run over real quick and take a look and see what INS is doing. See where they're spawning at. Looks like they got uh, squad four is going to spawn right here to the south of the objective location. Kind of be a uh, operational gonna, post uh, here. Squad one's going to get the MRAP next to Striker. And we are live. <laughs> and we are live. Looks like they're going to head out south and then head east from here. Let me uh, slow my speed down here real quick. There we go. A little bit of a bottleneck here. Correct, because it doesn't work. There we go. Alright, fuck it, we'll do it live. It looks like Squad 4 and INS side are going to be pushing straight south, trying to figure out which way they're going. It's going to be a little too late though, they're not going to be able to see him, I don't think. Drama XD, yes, this is a, uh, we do have a private server. This is mainly used for our events. So this is a uh, one life operation. Uh, you will see that uh, when people die, they do not respawn. So there are no respawns in this. Um, and as soon as people die, you are you have to stop talking immediately and give up immediately. And then at that point, they go into admin cam and uh, watch the rest of the round. Why doesn't that surprise me? God, that sounds like a lot like a... DramaXD, we'd love to have you on our Discord server as well, so make sure you check that out as well. Are we convoying? Or our we main, the our main way of organizing or? these events is on Discord. Uh, we use the website to for uh, you guys to sign up the for the these events. Convoy, um, we do have public Probably. servers as well. Um, we have a uh, hardcore mod server, and then we also have a vanilla server, I believe. I believe that one's still rolling. But the most most of the ops guys, most of the guys here on the community like to play on the hardcore mod because it has a lot of extra gameplay elements, uh, such as insta death and uh, uh, suppressors on certain kits and damage increase on lats and hats and stuff like that. It's really really fun, really cool, really cool server to play on. Nice. But yes, if you are interested in our One Life operations, uh, don't be afraid to ask inside of uh, Discord here. Um, make sure you read the README because that will ha that has all the information that you'll need to sign up for our basic our basic course as well as our uh, as well as our uh, operations and stuff like that. But uh, in order to join operations, you first have to do our basic course, which uh, SOT team provides. And uh, once you complete that, then you are allowed Actually, to join it. We're operations. A little farther up the road. Uh, never mind, that's good. We'll dismount here. Just dismount. So once you complete that course, yeah, you can join that join these operations. Which ago. yeah, I, I, I probably, these no, operations are I'm pretty right, like pretty fun to play in. To be honest. All right, looks like they've reached their dismount location. The US has re reached their dismount. They are now dismounting, and they're going to probably hoof it the rest of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and get a UAV up, uh, get an eyes on objective. All right, so Silas is gonna put a UAV up, a UAV up to get eyes on objective. It's probably it might give away their position if uh, INS sees this. 
And we got an INS team here about 500 meters up to the north here on motorcycles. Uh, looks like they're trying to quickly get down to the south to see where they're going. See if the U.S. is moving to the east here. Which they should run into them, actually. So Sledby here and Alwandi as well. Who else is on here? I believe that's L&L. Yep, L and L, as well as L and L is on there as well. They're moving uh, south at this moment. They're gonna run right into the platoon here if they uh, keep going. So, am I taking this thing up into the mountains? Uh, if you want, you got free reign on them. Copy. We got a nice little wedge formation going on here. Or some kind of formation, V formation. I don't know, but uh, looks like they're gonna start. They're gonna start hoofing it northwest and start cleaning out the area, and just uh, kind of watching out for uh, the insurgents here. Initial scan has no eyes on enemy in the valley. Three is set up Overwatch with an AR. Dwarf has got his drone up, looking for looking for the contacts. Got me. He probably sees them. To be honest. See where he's at. I believe he does see them. Yeah, that's pretty far away for the drone, though. Yeah, he probably didn't see him. We got contact north. Torrance, uh, NSA spies. Copy seen that. that contact. Maneuver Mike west seven of four two, enemy infantry. Contact Mike seven four two cap one. Three. We are marking with smoke. Three get in a position to cover. Two. Ooh, that was a good last shot. Uh, two and four proceed west. One try to get on the ridge to your north northwest uh, to engage. Trying to take contact. out that Dishka technical. I believe that's a Dishka. Let's take a look here. Tactical banana freaking out. It's pushing. Farther into the farther into contact, it's kind of weird. The objective, our Overwatch Hill, looks mostly clear for now, but that may change now that they've initiated contact with us. Looks they like uh, INS here is scrambling to get in the cover. They pushed off northeast. Okay, tactical banana. This they is. All got loaded up and drove away. What are you doing? Uh, let's what is this guy doing? And start getting towards that hill. Uh, we actually just blew it up. All right. Good work. Oh god, are they, are they inside? It? Yeah, they were oh, driving it. Oh Excellent dear. Excellent work. Alright, let's proceed as man. Good work. Not sure what happened there. Not sure if Sledby uh, wanted that to happen. I don't think he wanted that to happen. That was definitely an asset we should have, uh, that they should have kept. We saw contacts, one's north. We are holding now to basically cover them if they take fire from concealment. Copy that. Do you have a position on them, three? Where exactly where they were at? Just straight north, opposing mountainside is all I got. He said they saw them and they got in concealment. Hey, three, one's Copy. pretty they were much low. in the clear. I want you to go ahead and proceed moving west behind two and follow them up in so you're ready to move when we get up there. So We're Silas is basically telling them to, to um, once smoke. it's clear, to move out. Three, did you copy my last? I did not, sorry. I need Ooh, you to Dwarf has seen them, though. West behind two, so you're up on the objective hill when it's time to assault. Understood, we're moving west. Looks like three is moving off to the west. Uh, unknown to them, Dwarf is on their, uh, on their to the north of stuff one. above them. Three, I have no eyes on red smoke. Be advised, we're probably going to have enemy coming up on our south, southwest soon from those forward spawn points, so keep that in mind as we maneuver here. We need to be quick about getting into that valley.
All right, so three is breaking contact and just trying to catch up with the rest of the platoon. They don't want to get caught out. Enemy contact of close west of my position on top of the area that was uh, being UAV. Copy. Yeah, we're taking contact there as well. So four, four is in contact with squad one over here. It's like Dwarf is coming over to check it out as well. Yeah, I got visual on the hill. Three's moving to four. It's like Spanish Inquisition went down. Or no, that was someone else. Yeah, Juliet seven four seven, just on your northwest four. There's contact. We're getting bushwhacked from our west. We're gonna we're gonna hold up and uh, stay here until we can get friendly assistance. Yeah, Let's he's pushing that. in, helping you. Three, Three gonna reinforce four. Move. Yeah, move okay, go ahead. South. Around the south of four. Contacts to the east of one are pulling back. Looks like uh, Squad One here is engaging this contact to the east that they know about. Just some light hits right now. One guy watching your south, preferably Bino. Ooh, we got a buddy team over here. Aethel with the uh, skeleton. Looks like he's trying to head off any uh, any other contacts here. Uh, negative. We weren't able to get a good look at them. They were blasting us. Uh, Ridgeline. They were Julia Julia seven. Yeah, ooh, this best. is ooh. Dwar oh. Silas is behind, right behind him. Ju or no, this is uh. We might have enemy infantry in Mike eight seven. Silas is over here by himself. He's got to be careful. Gotta be careful if he gets caught out. That's uh, all the squad. We're taking fire from the south. All the platoon yep, here. Yeah, they did bring up. The, they came up the southwest. They're Juliet uh, nine, roughly. Command, you want one all back south and some, or continue wrapping? Uh, continue wrapping. We need to proceed to the objective. We can't get engaged in this south. I am cut off. Silas, I think my guys are gonna have to just make a run for it down the valley and try and just sneak our way through. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Yeah, we're engaged in your north side now. It's very good on Dwarf getting these guys wrapped around and uh, using one squad to stop their advance and then uh, yeah, taking and the rest of the squads and wrapping nine, around seven, them from six. behind. Oh, actually, no. Kilo nine, one nine, very good. Three. Very good job on Dwarf's part. Let's see. All right, it looks like they caught us in an ambush here, everyone. Uh, Rosa is, is north, Pony. North. And That's who Rosa is. Get in the valley to proceed to objective. If we get bogged down here, they're gonna get artillery on us. Silent. I'm gonna push this Matt B right through the goddamn mouth of the valley and then up the fucking uh, river. Copy. Beware. They might have mine. Understood. Yeah, we're in a real bad spot here. We gotta get out. That's fine. I'll, if you guys can give a marker, I can pull down our. So this kind of situation it looks like the INS has up. taken the initiative and engaged them while they're off of. Uh, off of a. Uh, Command one's MRAP maybe stuck. Off of objective here, uh, a lot easier to fight them out in the open than it is to fight in close needed. quarters. But here, but here you can see the kind of the spread of the. Valley. It's a. Uh, got all uh, four squads here. They got the nice little spread going, and they're uh, trying to push them. Two is proceeding north to the north here. <laughs> Silas here is uh, pretty much cut off. He well, he's not quite cut off, but if he moves, like he's definitely gonna get spotted. At Golf six, or sorry, Golf seven six, at the southwest side of the village. Slevy squad over here. He's uh, looks like he might be starting to push in. It's just trying to squeeze him in here. Looks like uh, Silas is getting his guys to move uh, off to the north here, trying to get around this contact to the south, as well as to the east. Kind of an oversight on Dorf's part to, that he left the north open, so now they can just go right through the Enemy north. Enemy drone up in the air. NSA spy spotted the drone, trying to take it down. Got it. Silas uh, did get a kill. Yes. All right, UAV's going offline.
Silas, should I just uh I've got a full enemy squad on my position. So Silas is now go not gonna get seen. he's not gonna get seen. Cause it looks like they just went right around him. Someone let me know what Silas Oh he doing. opened up on him. Why didn't he just why didn't he just um hold still and not say anything? Alright, are they in not the village? Anything. Because I'm driving north towards the village right there now. There were contacts too. on the west side of the village for sure. I don't so, know about the east. So, one, two, and three, they're all pushing, around. they're all starting to push north through the hole here uh, um, as these squads push in from the uh, south. Silas, he, if he would have just uh, stayed quiet, no one would have seen him. Now he's going to have to defend himself against the whole enemy squad. Four, am I to provide a base of fire while you push the town? Looks like one and two are looking at... Uh, Ooh, four try. is already you in the town, the town here. I'm going to look. Not sure where four Three came out, came from, but... Three my position within 20 meters. Uh, they're going to be coming up towards one Zimra. I'd have a team watch your ass there, three. Command, one Zemrap is uh, permanently stuck. We weren't Copy. able to... This man, there's infantry coming up from the south of it. Uh, this is very, speed. very good. The uh, squad four kind of snuck in. Like, enemy uh, Rose's God, Rose's squad here kind of snuck in through the through. Kind of, I'm not sure how they did that. How she did that. Last round, she was uh, also the one that snuck up on on them as well. Kind of through a nice little gap. But they have uh, Lima Bean here Port, inside of a on your north side inside of a Dishka technical, I believe. Logic truck. Northwest. Uh, Looks like they're just uh, trying to get the uh, logistics down here. Four, if you take any contact up there, let me know. I can get a UAV up. Just, you know, get eyes out. So four is in a good position. He's actually behind all, or Fuck she, it, they are actually behind all these enemies here. It's like two and one are pretty close here. Down in the valley, and that's not really a good good position to be in. But sometimes it's just how the cookie crumbles. They're just Squad trying to. Contact closed northwest of you. Soldier Wolfie is going to go down. Yep. Looks like Soldier Wolfie went down to yeah. Oddball. Amy's on blue smoke. Come in. Copy. Oh, Doctor Grip goes Copy. down to. To that squad up there. Looks like uh, Regan here is going to go down Permission as well. To, uh, contact fight the south. Yeah, it's go a ahead. good dwarf. Oh, look over. where dwarf is at. Platoon, you have been granted one times cast. Alright, we do have a cast run in, so three if you can get an accurate fire support. So, mark, dwarf, look at this. He's also surrounded, so kind of both commanders right now are, are kind of out in the open with enemies all around them. It's like Silas is going to try to get that cast run Dude, in before me? he dies. I heard you. I'm trying to find them. Got it. Ooh, Dwarf put, put the much. heavy barrage right on top of himself. I don't think it's going to... It's not... No one's inside the circle, so I don't think it's going to hit anybody. Hey, Rosa, what's the delay so time? So Dwarf should have heard run. that. He definitely did. Uh, it takes like about a minute for it to show up and kill stuff. He definitely knows we're there right now. Best used against people who don't know it's coming. Two, two, go ahead and push west. That mortar barrage is right on you. Two, you got guys behind you. That uh, heavy barrage is non effective. Alright, we have cleared out one My of the cash. Um, we're searching for additionals. Oh, Liver Plunge is going to walk up on Dwarf here. Oh, maybe not. Um, Looks like Dwarf is engaging so his contacts here. Every cache in this village or, like... No, you don't have to. Reload. Reload. We, Dwarf we is in the, in the foliage that. here, just waiting on somebody to pop their head out. We're, we're, we're doing our best. We're searching everything. We did already find one, so... That's good enough for me. See how Dwarf does here against uh, against the entire squad. A lot of infantry contact. Takes out uh, Mercenary. As he got close. Copy. I think Four's got the village pretty secure. So if you guys want to keep engaging them up there too. Oh no, nobody's looking at, at Dwarf here. 
no one's paying attention to where to what's going on around them. Situational awareness is key here. Dashby here might see him though. Oh, look at this! I'm trying to help look at this! No one's even watching behind us too. Tree coming in. I think all of them are all right, south so of close. Kind of like what happened last I round. Want... I want you watching. Another enemy cache has been destroyed. So that's two caches down, that. one to go. That's two cache runs. We can be kind of liberal with them. And it looks like Dwarf <laughs> is going to get away unscathed. Good work, Raven Platoon. You have been granted two cache runs. Dwarf is now in the clear. He is now behind enemy contacts. Good job on Dwarf and staying alive. Bad on that squad, though, for not finding him and not seeing that situational awareness. But uh, here in the... Uh, oh, what was it called? Here in the village here on the objective, it looks like we got two objectives down, so that's two cast runs for, uh, for, the, U or for the U.S. side here. Uh, Silas is still uh, I'm still out in the middle right middle of nowhere. Do you want support or can we push onto the point? Nah, push onto objective. I'm working from a UAV. So I believe. Uh, interrogative. <laughs> McGruff died some to something. Taking enemy lat fire from our direct fucking uh, east, probably up by our MRAP. Um, we've cleared yep. another cache. We're looking for more caches. Uh, we got two so far. I believe they are looking for this cache here. Driver. Copy that. This cache here, possibly. Is there one here? See, the radio is here down beneath the map. Let's see, let's take a look here. Uh, no cache here, no cache here. So, so the other one's up here. So, the other one's up here to the north. Hey, from. Yeah, two's coming in there. Looks like Thin Bones is down. Let's go take a I'm look and see what the action's happening. Yeah, it was pretty tight. Good work, everyone. Looks like just doing some hill-to-hill -hill fighting here. Dwarf is still behind him. Contacts behind one and three to our east. Copy that. Still standing by from our... So here's kind of the situation, guys. Uh, one's over here fighting with uh, everyone else here. Two, we've already Nuke Dukem's gonna run to the Lima Bean. Probably gonna want to push north if you're sweeping for more caches. Um, we haven't searched the market for this yet. Oh my god. Oh, he had a hill between them. There's a rock there. Lima Bean takes out Nuke Dukem. Cast sort available. Doesn't have to be a dead accurate mark. I can call it in escape. And we got Squad 3 here. We killed him. Taken out. Looks like. Squad three took out Phoenix. Oddball's right there in front of him, down, uh, down in the valley. Yeah, yeah, right across the ridge, right across this ridge, close, right across 15 point meters. Yes, so I'll just give you guys the kind of north point of reference north here. Down. You can see this it's is all really down. steep terrain. A lot of ridge to ridge fighting on this on this map. Two and four. Uh, two, give a quick sweep of those northwestern buildings, but otherwise just hold position there. So you got. All right, see. run incoming. Rose. Two, three full squads on the east here that they have now to defend from. Looks like uh, squad two here is going to come into contact with squad with the rest of squad three. Cast around coming in right over here. Let's see if I can see it. There he is. Hovis five? No, he didn't get him. Hovis five died. I don't believe that got anybody. Ooh, darkness goes down to Imanaz or Garrett. Not sure who it was. I missed him. I missed that contact. So we got squad two and four still still throwing uh, lats out at them. Garrett goes down to aggressor and Italian spy. And Italian spy taking shots from Imanaz. I do have a slight concern. Vehicle stealing. Still alive. Eminaz yeah, needs to... Oh, Eminaz takes him out as he tries to move up to get eyes on. F F5 aggressor here is the last of uh, squad one, I believe. Man, squad three is getting decimated down there. Can I recommend a guys run on his dead bodies? Yep, go ahead and mark it. I'll call it in. Uh, so now they're going to be marking this right here and looking for a cast run. Try to take these guys out. They're already dead. 
No, that was Rose calling it. Oh no, that's All right, Rose. Gets called in. Um, five aggressor goes down. Last last guy at squad three. Uh Alright. Last man at squad three. Let's take a look here. I believe I'm it coming. was. Yes it is. Squad three completely obliterated. Soon it. Oh, this might kill a couple of people. Uh, you can disengage and pull to the north hill. North of the village. That's a good position to support from. It's gonna come from this direction, so let's take a look right. here. Gun runs incoming. I'm gonna move from my little hidey hole and try to link up with y'all. Good luck. If I go down. Contacts Copy. are east of one. I understood one. If you Warp is still alive over there. Silas, or what's the deal? There it comes, uh, the A10. The it's like I got Viper. Copy. Yep, only got one, only got Viper. Contacts Warp, over here. Mark on your position, I can give a mortar barrage to get you out of there. It's like one's in close contact Call with, uh, All right, it's Mark. this squad over here. Me. Do it just east of me. Copy that. Band, where do you want to? It's around. You're getting a nice wide spread there, one. Should get you out of the mountain. Smoke barrage right, inbound for away. one. To get them out of that situation, because they are... Uh, surrounded on two sides. Try to set up on the north side of the village, on the mountains up there, and you should have good. And it looks like they're going to try to Copy get into it. the village. So, Go. looks like we're going to be transitioning over here to the village here. Yeah, there's still enemies up there where the smoke is coming in. Copy that. Perfect L-shaped uh, ambush here for them. If uh, Oddball sees them in down the valley. He's looking for him. Looks like he saw him. Oh, it, that last shot hit a tree. Salty Potter shooting into nothing. Hey, they should be dropping. Let's see, it should have a smoke barrage in here. Yes, it is. It had a pretty wide spread on that smoke barrage, so it's going to cover a large area. Looks like the rest of Squad 1 here is Thank going to command. escape with their lives. Yep, that's all we got in terms of assets, guys. So me. Now he's got to find the, uh, the last cache, which is right here. Right here in this building over here. Do I'd uh, I'd come back south too, cause uh, we can't really hold this town by ourselves, you know. And I don't think we're gonna find any more caches. Yeah, two stay in the village, one take the north hill. Sorry if that wasn't clear. All right, one's pushing that north. Now it's a Mike big game of cat and mouse as they try to go. and pony uh, defend the village at this point. It's been a pretty lively round from start to finish here. It looks like uh, U.S. Commander is way out in the open, just trying to get linked back up with his with his platoon here. But uh, as far as death counts go so far, it's only 10 for the U.S. and 21 for the insurgent forces. So insurgents are in the lead by a significant amount, almost almost double for the for INS than it is for the United States. And it looks like Rose Dragon here. Rose Dragon getting shot from behind as they move across the open field here. Need to hurry up and just get going. Headbuster's sitting there waiting. Needs to get moving. But Squad One's going to take this northern hill. And it looks like they're going to start defending this, uh, defending this location. Uh, next bit, are we defending that radio? That's going to be good here, because they actually... They actually... Oh, oh, excuse okay. me. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Uh, for... Pony, can I get that radio position? Oh, okay. Yeah, po uh, Rosa, you're going to be on radio, uh, to You're going to be set up just Understood. north. And then they technically have not completed their objective yet, because they still have one more cache right here.
So it looks like Dwarf is going to have his guys move up to the north and kind of come in and just kind of envelop these guys, which would be a very, very bad situation. I mean, U.S. is already in a bad situation, but... a lot but, of infantry you know. contact from where one came from. We're harassing them. Copy that one. Spread that yawn. Yawn to me, sure. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. My bad. Duke of the Potato, how's it going, bro? Nice little fun op. Picture Looks like the U.S. is going to get uh, decimated here. One. Still 10 God, to 21 here. Trying to take up positions so. in the north too. And uh, uh, Silas here, U.S. command is way down here to the south. To uh, doesn't know what the situation is. Uh, looks like Squad 2 is going to go in and secure that cache. The last final the cache location. And Squad 3, along with command for Dwarf, is going to be coming over and enveloping to the north here. Oh no, this buddy team here is getting caught in crossfire here. Man of Meat and Fallen Apollo kind of getting caught between two, uh, two opposing forces. A lot of action getting coming in from the north. Fallen Apollo goes down to somebody. I didn't see what happened there. Man of Meat's gonna, or Meat of Meat. Yeah, he's gonna go in and he's gonna take some pop shots at William there through the door. He's gonna immediately move into the, immediately move into a building, which is good on him. But he is uh, surrounded by uh, all enemies. As an M, I believe that's an M rap coming in here. Rosa on the M rap. Trying to keep anybody from uh, crossing the river here. Oh, I didn't see that. We got the Flicker and Lego here. It took out Corgi. Look out too, they're definitely north of you. Me to me, it's still, yeah, still yeah, fighting. Yeah. Still fighting. It looks like he took out Dax. Daxus took out Daxus here. Yeah, it looks like we lost one. Too, and so Fizzo runs in and kills him. Cup. Comes in behind him and takes Just, him out. Uh, have Good job on Fizzo. Take have that guy out. Wow, well, you're in contact. Never mind. Just do what you can. This is Josh and take him over too. Yeah, just do what you can up there in the north. Copy. Let's see. Squad 1 pretty much got obliterated obliterated up here in the north. Uh, the only person left is Liberal Pundit. It looks like he just went down. He did. So INS is uh, running away with this op tonight, uh, 14 to 29. 14 kills on the US side versus 29 on the uh, insurgent, so insurgent side. Insurgents are have come back with a vengeance on this side of the uh, on uh, round two. Completely obliterating the US side. Silas, they're coming from the north, everyone's dead, except my guys. It's gonna be just us. I'm gonna link up with your medic over here on the west, and set up with him. And Silas is just now getting linked up with uh, with his platoon. So we're doing pretty good here, but U.S. still has a chance to uh, U.S. still has a chance to bring this back. Oh, Scottish gets destroyed by Rosa in the uh, in the MRAP here, in the 50 cal MRAP, trying to cross the river. Very good positioning on this MRAP to watch that river crossing and uh, shoot anyone that dares try to cross it. Uh, Skelly, yeah, it might get changed. It might not. Um, from what I've heard, we may be just be running it again. Uh, with just, uh, you're not going to be taking the same options as we did today. Uh, as we did, you know, on this op. Oh, the MRAP is taking hits from lat shots. Looks like they're gonna. Looks like Rosa is gonna abandon the. Uh, gonna yeah, they're gonna be high on the mountain. Matt B's busted. Copy that. Just engage him in close quarters. Yep. All right. That was Silas saying basically hole up here. Now it's just a waiting game for them to uh, clear out for dwarf 
uh, for Dwarf here and his uh, platoon to clean out the town. But he's got the numbers to do it. But does he have the shooters to uh, destroy the rest of these people? We'll go ahead and get an over overhead view here real quick. Let me uh, just shut these off. Yeah, contacts across the road to the north. All right. So most of the INS forces are over here to the north. And now they have to come and clean it out here. And I believe they're attacking this fob here, this uh, fob location. Yep. So now they have to protect the H747 uh, fob location. So they put a radio down, and now they got to defend that radio. Not sure where that hit. Coming from our ECU, Silas. This is going to be real rough. Copy that. But yeah, it's uh, 16 to 29 currently. U.S. forces are dwindling in numbers. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them left. <laughs> there is a lot. To the west road. Silas is correct. There is a lot of them left. We've got about... Three, four, about three full squads on the INS side. Didn't even see him, Skelly. Didn't even see him. Uh, he was in a bush literally 50 meters away from your squad. So it was 20 meters back to your pod. They just couldn't see him. Copy that. It's been an honor. So let's see how many people are left on the U.S. side. Looks like we got four, five with Silas. Only five people left on the on the uh, U.S. side. Five versus like three full squads on the INS side is not looking too good for the U.S. But if they play their cards right, if they defend the right angles, they should be able to um, have defenders advantage here and uh, take out any remaining people. Oh, Kamanji goes down. I understood. Kamanji goes down to uh, Soviet Piggy. Probably look, looking like he was hopping the wall. Not definitely not looking good. And all they need to do is just hold those angles and, and Oh, Silent goes down to a lat shot from D Le or, or from D Leak, I Silent believe. Silent is down, Silent is down. We got two left. Oh, Seabass from Sibis. Or Seabass. Whatever his name that. is. I think it was a lat for Silent. So Seabass takes out Silent peeking through the window. This is not good for the US, they're getting picked off one by one. Oh, Spanish Inquisition goes down Second to Second to last man down. They're to somebody over here. This is not good. They were not watching their angles. He was too close to that doorway for a CQC. Thank you. Same to you. I'm trying to cover you from this side of the road. It is now Silas yeah. versus Silas and Rosa. They're the last two people alive on uh, U.S. side. I think they're moving around the south side. It's not looking good well, they for them. Are. I'm waiting by the building. Silas is in There's the window, one not... One exit, so I'm watching it from eh, another building. Good. Copy, is it on the north side? Footsteps, footsteps. Looks it's like D-Leak's down. The, um, east side of the building. Rosa's kind of in the middle of everything here. Not a very good spot for her inside of the uh, Copy, compound. They're fucking rearming on top of me. <laughs> Rosa has a, has a whole fire team on her. They're all around me, Silas. Looks like they're looking to wanting to clear this out. Got one. Oh, Rosa takes out two people at once. Got two, got two. Very bad, very bad situation. They weren't looking, watching the the buildings. L and L goes down. Got three. So what happens when you run in there with no plan?
Looks like Oddball's getting on top of the, uh, that's a very good move, getting on top of the building here. Let's take a look and see what, oh, there's only one way into where Rosa's at, and it's through that doorway right there. Last shot into the doorway, didn't go down. Looks like, uh, oh, Seabass killed, team killed Llama Bean on accident. Oh, no. Rosa's still watching it. Seabass goes down. Rosa's the last one alive, last man. Very good job on Rosa's part, just kind of watching that angle. There's only one way into that building, and that's through that doorway. So Rosa could clutch it for for the U.S. for the U.S. here. Slevy threw in a grenade. It's not effective. Oh, Slevy gets taken out by Rosa. Oddball wasn't wasn't quite there. But he's doing good though. Booby trap just goes in. Rambo style. Oh, it doesn't doesn't make it. This is an epic showdown by Rosa. Oddball goes down. Oh, he traded. You're an American hero. He traded. Oddball traded with Rosa. That is GG, I believe. That is GG. Good job on Rosa taking out an entire squad from that position. Good job on her. That was very well played. Very good job. Good job on Oddball getting the, getting the final shot in. That's going to do it, though, for uh, this uh, afternoon's op. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you guys are interested in our operations, make sure you visit us at squadops.gg on the on the internet, on the web. Check out our Discord. Um, other than that, what a great end.